A majority of Kenyans are either in severe financial distress or struggling to make ends meet. This is according to the latest InfoTruck polls on the cost of living released today, which also revealed that 85% of Kenyans believe there is a need for the government to urgently address the issue of high cost of living. Here now is our very own Chichi Josephine with more. A majority of Kenyans say the country is heading in the wrong direction one year after President William Ruto took power. According to the survey conducted by InfoTruck between December 18 and 19 last year, out of the 73% affected Kenyans, only 5% of Kenyans are living comfortably amid the soaring cost of living while 18% are in severe financial distress and 55% are struggling to make ends meet. A majority, that is 73% of Kenyans, are either in severe economic situation currently. The research firm indicates that the current economic hardship has forced 45% of Kenyans to engage in side hustles to supplement their income. Another 41% have reduced their expenditure on non-essentials, while 18 percent have taken out loans to fill the gap. There are those that have reduced their spendings. You've reduced the kind of expenditure you have in the household so that you can cope with the hard economic situation. InfoTruck researcher manager Joe Vinwanyungo says the hard economic hardships have had various impacts on Kenyans, with 48 percent suffering increased stress and anxiety 32% experiencing strains on relationships, 21% developing physical health issues and 18% are mentally unhealthy. It has increased stress level and anxiety mentioned by 48%. 32% have had a strain on personal relationship. The northeastern region leads the list with 78% followed by Coast with 76%, Central with 74%, and Rift Valley region at 73%. More so the economic situation. However, Kenyans have identified specific areas that need more support to cope with the hard economic situations this year. 26% say there is need to reduce the cost of living, 13% propose a reduction on fuel cost and create employment opportunities. 12% suggest a reduction of tax rates. 6% support the agriculture sector and provide loans on low interest. 3% say ensuring food security countrywide, while 2% recommend to have an improvement in the health sector. Chichi, just TV for.